Would you like to have the guesswork taken out of buying foundation for mature skin? Well, hopefully I'm going to do that for you today. We're going to get into my top 10 favorite foundations for my mature dry skin. Hi friends, this is one of my favorite videos to do every year. I do this video and update it because I do find really good foundations for mature skin and I wanna make sure that I bring those to you. But at the same time, there are some that are still here and still with me that I absolutely love and will forever love. So we're going to go over all of the foundations, 10 of them, that are really good for my skin. Now, please keep in mind that I am 52 years old. I do have dry skin. In the wintertime, my skin is terribly, terribly dry. And I also have texture and pores through this area right here. My skin is not as taut as it used to be, so I have to be really careful about that and I do definitely have those wrinkles and fine lines as well. I like a foundation that is satin. I am not a super matte girl and I'm not a super glowy girl either. I like a foundation that kind of sits in the middle. However, these all do have just a tiny variance in the way that they sit on the skin. We're gonna pretty much go in no particular order for the first seven because I could pick up any of these foundations and feel like they make my skin look really nice. I'm just gonna pick stuff up and we're gonna go from there. So the first one is the Revlon Color Stay. This is the normal to dry formula. This is their 24 hour natural finish foundation. Do I feel like it's a 24 hour foundation? Not really, but I do feel like it's a beautiful foundation. This is a very full coverage foundation. So if you like this foundation when you try it, but you still think it's a tiny bit too thick, put a drop of oil in it, a facial oil in it, or put a little bit of primer in it, a hydrating primer, whatever you feel like in it, and you're going to thin it down so it's not quite as full coverage. I love it for the full coverage on times when that's really what it calls for. Like if I'm going to a wedding or if I'm going to a special event, this is a beautiful foundation for that because I know it's going to hold up all day long. It's going to be there when I take it off and it's going to sit beautifully on the skin and it does not show up any texture. I want you to know that about all of these. Most of them I do use with a beauty blunt beauty blender or beauty sponge that is my preferred way of putting on makeup because i feel like on my mature skin you know the the pressing in motion the bouncing motion really helps with texture whereas sometimes if you're using a brush although i use a brush on lots of occasions sometimes when you're using a brush i feel like you can get too much on and you can also you know maybe get it just a little bit too heavy be a little bit too heavy handed with it because a brush does make a lot more full coverage with your foundation than just a beauty sponge would. But this one is a really great one. I've loved it for a very long time. The Healthy Skin from Physicians Formula. I did actually just put this in another video. This is a beautiful foundation as well. This one has an SPF 2 of 20. This is called Brightening Complex. It says for all skin types. This one has, by the way, this one is a glass bottle with a pump applicator. This one is a glass bottle with a doe foot applicator. And I said this in my last video, someone, I was complaining about it being a doe foot applicator and somebody said, why? When you use a concealer that has a doe foot applicator on it every time. Very true, great, <laughs> great point, I, I must say. And you can take the stopper out of this and then dig around and get to the very bottom of it. So I feel like the application process is fine. Again, this is a very natural looking foundation as far as its finish. Now, as far as its coverage, it is a medium coverage that is very buildable. So this is a great one for mature skin. Again, no texture. This one lasts on my skin all day long and it does make my skin look really healthy and more along the lines of younger. And I really love that about it too. Now, one of the foundations that I have loved for such a long time, this has been in my top three forever until this lineup that I found this year. So this is one of the top 10. It will always be from Believe Beauty. This is the foundation that is $5. This to me is the most bougie foundation for $5 I've ever seen. Glass bottle, raised up gold lettering. I don't even know if you can see that or not. And then it has a symmetrical cap pump in it 
don't we know some foundations that don't even have pumps in them and they cost upwards of 40 bucks or more? Yeah, we do. This one is better than that one. Dare I say Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is your dupe. I really feel like it is. I like this one because of its lasting power. I like the full coverage of it. This is completely full coverage as far as I'm concerned. This is a gorgeous foundation for mature skin. I feel like it doesn't settle down into any pores or wrinkles or anything like that. I love this foundation. I've loved it from the minute it hit the market. It's been one that I just reach for over and over again. It is that gorgeous it could be in a department store on a counter and be a foundation that every single woman i feel like whether they're oily skinned whether they're super dry skin i don't care what your skin type is i don't care what your skin looks like this could be your favorite foundation it's it's that good it's that gorgeous also one that i did not think that i would like is the tarte shape tape foundation now this one is a plastic bottle it does have a pump applicator that pushes all the product up i appreciate those because you do get all the product out i think that this is a pretty bottle but i don't it's not glass like the other ones i don't know why this one costs so much but the product Product inside of here is the gem of course and that is because this is such a creamy beautiful foundation that it works into your skin so gorgeous it leaves a very natural finish it's not dewy and it's not matte at all it's just a really natural pretty finish this isn't a great color for me and i will be throwing up on the screen all the colors because i obviously didn't say that this one is light neutral and it isn't the best color for me it's a little dark especially you know from fall into spring summertime when i'm doing a little fake and bake i can get away with this color but the product itself, I don't mind that because I can lighten it up with my white mixer that I have from LA Girl. I have the blue one that takes away any colors that aren't cool enough for me. And then I have the white one that takes it to the next level if it's too dark for me. And this one is too dark, so I just put that in there. I love it. And why don't I just show you that while we're on that topic? These are those two mixers from LA Girl. They're not that much. I think they're like $8. This one is the blue one. You can tell I've used it the most. I'm actually starting to scrape the bottom there. And then this one is the white, which I got recently, and it just lightens anything up. Be a little bit careful with this white because it will bring things really light really quickly. So start off with a little actually on both, and then if you need more, you can add more later. But this blue will take away any orange foundation problem that you have. So you're not going to be buying a foundation and simply getting rid of it because it's not a good color for you if it's not a good formula chuck it but if it's not a good color for you and you love the formula definitely look into these now to make it darker nyx came out with some control drops that are called dark and those work perfectly for me because they're a very sit in a very neutral zone as far as not too warm not too cool they're very neutral and they work perfect in warming up foundations for me oh so back to the tart face tape i really do love this one double duty beauty i it just ticks off all the boxes as far as making my skin look youthful and pretty and then one that came to me rather recently i would say maybe two months three months last winter this is the hydrating true skin foundation long wearing with hyaluronic acid from catrice i really really like this and especially in the winter this has been such a gorgeous foundation for me and it is just a beautiful color for me a perfect perfect color for me i think this is cool cashmere it is a great foundation if you are somebody that can't spend a lot on foundations but you want a really pretty foundation for your mature skin that's not going to show up that texture that won't settle into fine lines and wrinkles this might be just perfect for you please know that if you are somebody that is combo to oily you're not going to like this you need to be a little bit more on the dry side because this is a very hydrating formula but that's why i like it so much it's so perfect for me and i cannot say enough how well this covers for being such a light foundation very light feel foundation on it if you're somebody that really likes a thin formula it's great and it has that little bit of a dewy finish so we're talking between satin and dewy not terrible but you might need to set it down with a setting spray or a powder depending on you know what you like but this one it's gorgeous and it's more along the lines of a medium coverage 
can't really build it up too much i would say you can a little bit so if you needed to i would go in probably with my concealer to cover the you know if you had spots that you really needed to cover but this is so pretty as far as making just a beautiful canvas very evening it's very pretty on skin and then from koki this, this one is just called their full coverage foundation and this is in 20c this one is sold out way too much but again we have a glass bottle and we have some really pretty accents on here for it being a drugstore this is a really pretty foundation on the outside but this foundation is even though it's full coverage it feels so nice on my skin without showing up any of that texture without going into any of the fine lines it completely unifies my skin so i have this beautiful canvas to start off with because of that full coverage i don't have anything that shows through and it can be sheared out as well if you use that beauty blender spray your beauty blender with maybe some fix plus or a primer setting uh primer spray you know one that you like from the drugstore or not and then it will shear it out a little bit but it's such a beautiful finish this is a very natural slash matte finish so it's leaning more towards the matte but without being that flat look on your face and my mature skin loves this this is something that stays on all day long I have it on when I go to wash my face at night. I really, really have enjoyed this foundation so much. And then the last one before we get into the top three is one that came to me a couple months ago as well. But I think this is a really great foundation and it's not drugstore, but it's not high end. This is Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation and it's the anti-pollution foundation. And I was going to find my color for you guys. It's 11 and a half P. So it's leaning towards the pink, but it is the half one. <laughs> I don't know why it's the half one, but it's really a pretty foundation. This is the one I'm wearing today. It gives a tiny bit of a glow without having anything look too matte or too heavy. And it just, it covers everything so well, but at the same time, it does help my skin show through. So I don't mind some of my age spots, some of my freckles, that kind of thing showing through if the foundation is going to make you look like you have really pretty skin and that's what this does i don't have anything showing in my pores or in any of my wrinkles nothing showing through i don't have any settling around my nose or around my chin this is just a beautiful foundation and it's very long wearing and I really like it. I set this down with a setting spray, not a powder, and it's there all day and gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. And as far as the consistency of it, I would say that it's more along along the lines of liquid to cream. So it's a pretty foundation and I just have really loved working with it and loved using it. And every time I've put it on, I've never been disappointed with it. All right, top three. You could pick any of these and put them interchangeably with each other. I'm going to start out with one that I talked about very recently in a video. This is by Hankley, H-A-N-K-E-Y. This is the Brightening BB Cushion Cream. This um, is called Mushroom Something on Amazon. But basically, it just is like this is a cushion in here, and then the product comes out. This is... A phenomenal foundation when i first tried this i could not believe the coverage on it i could not believe how long it wore i could not believe how beautiful the finish was for mature skin and i was just blown away and i immediately did a video on it to show you guys because it is that good it is that good and because i guess because of how moisturizing it is with the bb cream and that kind of thing i guess that's why i absolutely fell in love with it and i wear this one constantly and this is going to be one that i'm going to buy backups for because i love it that much no settling into any pores wrinkles anything like that no uh, break apart in my chin or around my nose like i do get sometimes but this is really pretty really really pretty and i did do this off a of video that tati did and it's it's one of those foundations that has crap for colors and i talk about that in my other videos so take a peek at that so that you can see how this performs beautiful and then very very recently in my ride or die video where i showed you all of the products 
products that I love. This made number one on my foundation and this one and the next one i'm going to show you are completely interchangeable as far as i'm concerned they almost act identical as a matter of fact i could probably say that this is a dupe for that one this is the number seven lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation it has a sunscreen in it let me tell you what the sunscreen is this is 15 and this one is cool ivory a glass bottle pump on it looks very pretty but this is the most beautiful foundation on my skin. My mature skin loves this foundation. It is a medium coverage foundation that can be built up very easily to be full coverage. It lasts all day long. I love that it has the serum in it that is a skin loving ingredient. I love that it has the SPF in it. So you get that little added benefit even though I use extra uh, SPF every day, but this is absolutely gorgeous. And I just went over, not only did I put this in my ride or die makeup, but I also put this in my favorites from number seven. Number, number seven does foundation like no other. They're just so beautiful. I love this. I cannot say enough good about it. No texture, no settling, makes your skin look like a perfected canvas, makes you look younger, makes everything about it. It's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful foundation. The reason that I didn't wear it today is because I did wear it in another video very recently. So I will, I will make sure I link that one for you. And then from Bare Minerals, the Bare Pro, this isn't the one that they just came out with. This is the original Bare Pro liquid one. This, I cannot believe that I took so long to get on this bandwagon. And like I said, I feel like these two, this is a dupe for the Bear Pro. But the Bear Pro is one that I can use just a teeny tiny amount, go really quickly with, and I don't have to fuss with that at all. I love to fuss with my foundation anyway. I like to take a long time on it because I feel like when your foundation looks good, the rest of your makeup looks good. But if you are in a hurry, you could do this with your fingers, you could do it with a brush, anything, and you are out the door. This is one of the most beautiful foundations that I can't believe I didn't try years and years ago. I love this stuff. It gives every single benefit that the number seven does, except for it doesn't have any of the serum in it or the skin treatment ingredients in it, and it doesn't have an SPF. But this is beautiful on mature skin. If you have been on the hunt for the perfect foundation, I would say one of these two is going to be, well, one of these three. One of these 10 is going to be your favorite foundation. They really truly are just the most gorgeous foundations I have found. I've been doing YouTube for over five years, and before that, I was on the hunt for the perfect foundation anyway. Some of these I have used for that long. Some of these I've only used for, this one has been in my arsenal for probably six months. This one has been in my arsenal for 18 months. Love them. Love, love, love them. I know this is saying a lot, but if you have dry to combo skin, one of these two will you'll love. You really will truly love. So I will make sure that everything is listed and linked below. That is it for all 10 of them. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. If you have a foundation that you can't get away from and that you absolutely love, make sure you tell me about it. I don't care if it is drugstore or if it is high end. I want to hear about it from you because I might need to just try it and see how it works with my skin. Thank you guys for all of the support that you give me all the time. I love you. Please take care. I will talk to you in my very next video. Stay safe and stay sanitized. Bye, friends.